Espathra and Lugia in the deck? This seems interesting. Now, I like Espathra, but I never thought about pairing it with Lugia Beastar until Eliza and Christian essentially decided to make this deck for uh, indie regionals. And apparently Eliza did really well with it. Uh, all things considering, especially some really bad matchups that go into this deck. But Christian and Eliza, thank you for showing me this deck. It has been quite fun. Also, I think very confusing to some of my opponents. But I'll also, you know, I'll put their Twitters in the description and also the document where Eliza talks about this deck, matchups and suggestions based off her original list. The one we're seeing here is actually adjusted based off some of the notes that she mentioned in her document. Uh, we'll go over them as we get to those, but well, actually, we'll start off. Why not? We are instead running a three line. She had ran a four line of Lugia V. She suggested dropping this down to two instead, but also noted that her uh, Chim Pao EX matchups were pretty difficult when you only had two. So I'm thinking instead maybe a 3-3 line might work for me in this video. I have tested it instead as a 3-4, but let's see how it handles as a 3-3. Of course, we do have a 3-3 for East Bathory EX. This is obviously going to be your main attacker. And because of the Lugia V-Star pairing it up with Archeops, you're going to be able to power this guy up pretty quickly. Uh, I will say he uh, East Bathory does have issues uh, with some uh, more tankier Pokemon. Um, namely, I think in my testing, I had some issues with the like Gengar EX, uh, not being able to hit that 300, I think 10 uh, as easily, but you know, it still hits those high numbers when possible. We're gonna be running this pretty much as a simple Lugia deck. We have Luminion, we added in the Mew uh, that she should see, she suggested. I, um, and then also she ran the Indindi. This is here for smart service. This attack can be used if you're going first. So keep that in mind. Uh, you usually want to go first with this deck because of this Indindi. Uh, smart service lets you go ahead and search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. So maybe that's an Archeops so you can discard using the Professor. Or the Professor to discard those Archeops you may already have in your hand. Uh, things like that. Uh, going forward, we have our supporters. We have three Professor's Research for draw support, obviously. Three Iono, two Serena, two Boss's Orders, four Ultra Ball, four Capture Aroma, two Great Ball, which is actually one less than she ran in her deck list because we increased the Earthen Vessel up to two instead of the one that she had. We have one Master Ball, a new Lost Vacuum added in, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm completely forgetting what I uh, took out to add this guy in. Oh, now I remember. We got rid of a ditto. Uh, it was the Pokemon 151 ditto that she originally had in her list. She suggested it wasn't as useful and became a dead card in her document. Um, especially if you, obviously, if you don't run it turn one, uh, it can't use its ability. So it's kind of a waste of a card. And she did suggest adding in Lost Vacuum for the Gardevoir matchup. So I went ahead and did that, added in Lost Vacuum. Now for our energy, we're gonna be running four Jet Energy, three Gift Energy, three Psychic Energy, three Double Turbo Energy, two Mist Energy, and one V-Guard Energy. Now, I'm a little concerned about the three energies here. It is exactly enough for East Pathra EX, and you're usually gonna only have two of them on your uh, uh, field at any point, but uh, you know, <laughs> you might get unlucky and have to attach to your Indeedy or maybe uh, your Lugia for some reason to use, uh, sorry, Lugia V to use the Read the Wind in a situation. And then that's one less psychic energy for your East Bathory EXs. So uh, I always, I, I'm tempted to switch this up to four and maybe drop Maybe a jet or a gift. Maybe not the gift though, because the gift does come in handy as some extra draw support if you're expecting to get KO'd. But yeah, that's just my suggestion. We'll see if it's still okay with this testing with just the adjustments to like the Lost Vacuum, the extra Earthen Vessel, the Mew EX, 
and then dropping the fourth Lugia V. But as is, this is what we're going to be doing uh, just based off her original list and her suggestions. And I'm looking forward to it. I did again test this as her original list and it was a lot of fun. I think I'm at the cusp of master rank on the ladder just using East Bathra and for the uh, second half of Ultra Ball, I was just using this uh, East Bathory Lugia deck. So <laughs> maybe we'll get into Master Ball rank with this deck today. Let's go ahead and get some wins. Before we go on, why not get subscribed? It lets me know that you like this sort of video. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. But double check because YouTube does unsubscribe people. Okay, so we won the coin flip. Let's go ahead and go first. Um... Oh, that would have been such a good hand if we had an actual basic Pokemon. Maybe if this had been a Lugia V. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's fine. Just the one mulligan. Uh, starting float is okay. Hmm. I think what we do is try and hit heads with the capturing aroma oh we really want to get uh heads on this coin flip okay hold on this is a really great start we get rid of both of these we're gonna get a lugia okay as long as they're not able to ko the flittle we're gonna be in a very great spot here I do wonder what they're playing. There's an origin form Palkia. Could be. Could it be Goldengo? I don't think they can attack with a Greninja just yet. Let's see what they grab with the Buddy Buddy Poppins. It is Golden Go. Okay, this is going to be a bit difficult. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to boss up, but we really need to get the V Star up and a Psychic. What did they grab earlier? Hold on. So, did they grab... They grabbed the Buddy Buddy Poffin. They did discard. I don't know if I get rid of that hand. There's only one in the discard. Or, I just draw my seven. Hmm. I think I bring him back down to six. Save the Professor for a bit later. Plus, I don't have to lose that double turbo energy. There is the Lugia. Okay. But we're still missing the psychic energy. Hmm. We could retreat. Actually, hold on. Can we? I don't want to grab that. No, even if we use the Mew, we could go for the KO using um, Lugia V Star, actually, though. Because we can attach uh, Retreat. Let's do that. We're going to put the V-Guard. We're going to put a gift on it too because a powered up Golden Go, as long as it has, I think, what, six energies in hand, can KO that Lugia easily. We're going to put a gift. And I don't think we're going to need the Mist Energy, so I can be sparingly with those. Those are usually for... Uh, Roaring Moon matchups and things like that. Things that have the, you know, the effects of attacks that would just instant KO. There's the Psychic Energy was the next card. Uh, let's retreat. Let's take our KO here. I would like to get another Flittle at some point. This helps us because they don't have... Uh, whoops, not three. Uh, they don't have the option to use... I forget what it's called. Um, Star Portal. Just yet. 
that would have helped their Radiant Greninja at least tackle these guys out. Okay. So they have two in discard. They could uh, Super Energy Retrieval them. There's a Pokestop. There's the first Golden Go. Prime Catchering, probably an Archaeops. Yeah, they need to attach one though. All right, coin bonus. There's one metal energy. They still have two in hand. They need a third one. Do they have it? Do they have three in hand? They do. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Does this guy, this guy resist grass? Uh, that's, uh, that's a little bit more difficult. I think we're going to send up Lugia. We're going to hard attach to Spathra. And we're going to start just powering it up with cards here. We really want to get that other um, that other flittle out soon, though. Let's see if we hit tells. We do. Okay. Let's grab the other flittle. And I don't know if I want to use the Serena to get some more cards right now. If they bench another Halkia, we could use the Serena. Let's get rid of their Pokestop, too. Let's discard it. That way they're not getting any item cards off of it. There's a Nest Ball, maybe for the Palkia. It is, okay, good. Good thing we saved the Serena, then. They do need quite a bit of cards. If they get a superior energy retrieval, we're in a bad spot. Let's see. Oh, there's, oh, come on. And the Earthen Vessel. This is a tough matchup, I will say. Because it resists East Mathra. Even if we're making them put attach another energy, it usually doesn't matter. Even in my other East Mathra deck, the one that uses Zatu, I have the same issues with Golden Go EX. So they're going to be able to grab all these energy back. They're going to have enough for KO. Yeah, because they already used the Earth. Oh, they only grab one with the Earthen's Vessel. Or, yeah, okay. Okay. And then they're discarding. Hold on. They would have to... I'm assuming they... Uh-huh. That grabs them four. They need five, though. Do they have the fifth? Oh, they have another superior energy retrieval. Okay. Hmm... The best thing for them would be to uh, okay never mind uh, go for <laughs> best thing for us I meant was for them to go for the Archaeops. Oh, this makes it so much more difficult. They're at one though. That being at one is good for us. All right, we have to put up East Bath 3EX. We're gonna evolve this one too. Hmm. Let's get rid of Indindi. We don't need her grab our two psychic we're only doing 120 we can do a bit more but now i do want to save a gift wow we're out of special energy too and we're still only doing 120 uh do, i think i you know what i don't attach these here i can do the 120 onto that golden go and still get the ko and this one's not powered up i think we're sitting pretty well actually all things considered 
I think we got lucky that they didn't attach to this Golden Gov because they really wanted to get that Lugia off the field. Okay. Mm. This one is doing... Uh, this has four energy attached, but this DTE drops it down by two. So it's actually only doing, I think, 100, 130. Yeah, they need to attach two. So we're in a better spot. I think if we had a hard attached everything onto one of these East Bathra, we might have been able to KO the origin form Palkia, actually. Yeah. I think we would have been able to. Super Rod. Hmm. Do they have an Ultra Ball? How many Ultra Balls actually? They've only, yeah, they've discarded that one with the Super Energy Retrieval. Here's an Irida. Okay, so they're gonna get the V Star. They're gonna attach that way, but only to itself and Greninja is possible, unless they do expect to attack with the Origin form. We'll see if they remember that East Pathra makes you use one more energy, because all three of the energy they use for Star Portal would have to go onto that orange informed Palkia V-Star. Hmm. If they put the three on there, hold on. If they put the three, I think we might be able to get KO. Okay, here's the Golden Go attach, which is good for us actually. Okay, never mind. Didn't they just grab a super energy retrieval too? Yeah, superior energy retrieval. Oh, that's tough. Okay. Also, what did they just discard? Okay, I was hoping they would re-discard the Palkia. A counter catcher too, that's insane. They're getting everything they need. We did have a chance, but now just that... Just that Irida alone has messed it up. This canceling cologne too. Really messed it up. They are going to have to get a total of six, though. There's a counter. Oh, never mind. They can go for the Mew. And that way, they only have to get rid of four. There's a regular energy retrieval. They still have to get rid of. Actually, no, they have to just get rid of. Yeah, no, still four. Why did I think it was doing 60? That's the Raging Bull DX. So for East Bathra, they have to get rid of, uh, what is that? Five, six, yeah. Uh, shoot. Let's go with this one. If we have an Iono, that actually helps us. Hold on. Search your deck. Yeah, you put it into your hand. I haven't used Master Ball quite as much as I would like to in the Lug these Lugia matchups. So let's go ahead and do that. And then just double check, I have an Iono. Okay. Because we want to put all this stuff back into the deck so we can power up our East Pather with it. But we do want to at least attach one to it. Mm, which is going to be Psychic Energy. Because we're doing 160. Ooh, tough. I don't think we're gonna be doing be doing it even with the DTE. This Iono is gonna have to stick to them, hopefully. If this Iono doesn't stick, we're gonna be in trouble. Because if we do this, is it enough? That's an extra four, six, eight, nine times three is 27 minus 60, 210, 240. Oh, we're short. Um, mm, I 
kind of want to keep the jets in the deck. Let's just do this. Yeah, if we had attached, I think, earlier all to one, we would have been in a better position. Okay. We got to hope that the Iono stick the sticks and they don't get any good cards off the coin bonuses. And then also the Dazzling Gaze prevents them from, you know, well, they could probably attack, but it'll force them to do an attach and that's one less energy for them. All their stuff is at the bottom too right now. So I think we're good. A superior energy retrieval, which is it the last one they have? It is the last one they have. Is at the very bottom, which is now going to be at the top. Uh, okay. But they're only going to be able to draw one off of the coin bonus because they used this one and not that one. Unless they have a retreat somehow. Hmm. Okay, it's going to depend on what they put up there. Oh, right. <laughs> I forget that they can do that. Uh, the poking stop. So they drew whatever they needed. And then is the other one an energy retrieval? Because this gets four. And if whatever they grabbed was a, a regular energy, I think they win. Oh, we were so close. Yeah. They oh, the, Hold on. They still need to attach. How many E uh, energy retrievals have they used? Only one. Mm, okay, no. Hold on. They still need to attach. So that's one less off the superior energy retrieval. Do they think that through? Hold on. They're discarding one. Why? There's the attach. The retreat. Ooh, okay. I think we need a boss now. I think we still have our bosses too. I don't think uh, they were prized either. Star portal. Attach they have to attach all three to the Palkia to attack. But if they attach all three, don't we KO it? Hold on. Three. And then we have set. And no, we KO it. I'm pretty sure. Because we can also just use Archeops to put the energy required. Oh, <laughs> I don't think they realize that them attaching makes it so we can KO them, KO them. Yeah, Dazzling Gaze really messed up that last play for the Golden Go, I think. And they didn't have a way around it. Oh, that was a really close one. Uh, but we did get the win on it. Let's go on to another one. We won the coin flip, so let's go ahead and go first again. Let's see what we're playing against. Dark Rye Sleeves. Probably not Dark Rye. Also, why do we keep getting mulligans? We got so many mulligans. I, I don't know if it's because I removed that one Lugia v, uh, v from the deck. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just that. Or the Ditto, too. We did remove two basic Pokemon, essentially, from the deck. Uh, Just the one mulligan, which is good. Oh, no. But that is such a horrible start. You hate to start Luminion V. Why? Oh, okay. And then we have three of our basic psychic energy here. But I really want to get something else onto the bench. So we have to discard this and an Iono. Well, well let's see what we draw. <laughs> That's no better. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of this stuff here. Let's grab a Lugia V. I think is our best choice here. I don't like this start. This is such a bad start. I'm not going to attach anything. Because I want to save those for our Flittle. And now that we only have two in the deck. It's concerning. I'm thinking even adding a Super Rod to this deck list might be a good idea. Because... Just losing, again, one makes it a bit more difficult for us. We could think of maybe adding a luminous energy, but then I think it just turns into a regular colorless energy when there's other special energies attached. 
So yeah, actually that's a bad idea. Never mind. <laughs> Forget what I said. Uh, this is a Gardevoir deck. One of the harder matchups for us. It's a good thing we added in the Lost Vacuum to mitigate some of the item cards they have. Hmm. We put up Lugia and then we just Iono, I think. That's probably our best decision. Drifloon is going to be our main target. Other than maybe the Screamtail. We're going to evolve the two routes. Already have a Bravery Charm on it. Hmm. I think I saved the Bravery... Sorry, the Lost Vacuum until after it's used its attack and damage itself. That way we can get that KO that way. Another Ultra Ball. Okay. This this uh, match has just been so bad as a start. Um, let's see if this helps us, though. Uh, a little. It helps a little. Not that much, though. We get one head, so we can get rid of one Archaeops. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of at least one Archaeops for now. Actually, do I even want to grab energy? I don't think so. I think I just play it to get rid of the Archaeops. I don't even want to jet just yet, so I'm going to put the Mist instead and pass. As long as we keep this on the bench, we're fine. The only way they can try and hit it is with... Um, Green tail, but I forget if the mist prevents it. Effects of attacks. I forget if it's damage counters or actual damage. Uh, I haven't played uh, the Scream Tail since the uh, deck upgrade we did for Gardevoir, which has been a few weeks. Now that they filled up the bench, I don't expect a Gardevoir though. I am hoping for. I'm hoping that they start damaging the Drift Loon. And we're able to get the Lost Vacuum. That's an easy, hard pickup that way. They do have these two Curlia to evolve, if need be. They also still have one refinement to go. Have they not found it? I think they usually start running two nowadays. Let's see, do they get a Gardevoir EX to KO? Yeah, they have five energy. They're more than enough to KO the Luminion. I just need four, I believe, onto it. They might have not. That's interesting. Oh, the Iono, that actually helps us good, okay. And so what we got, please, good cards. That's not good cards. Not at all. Oh, the gift would have been nicer first turn. Oh, and we have these here now. If we draw into an Archaeops, that would be ideal. Good, it's just the pass. Uh, just Beast Mathra, really. Uh, I'm not getting any good cards right now. Let's just drop the gift here. We're going to get rid of one of Serena's here. Draw one. I want to get rid of a jet. I really don't like losing East Bathras, but we have to draw cards. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, really cool. Um, let's grab Archaeops. Oh man. Okay. I really hope that they KO it and we get something to get rid of this Archaeops with. They're also pretty low on cards, all things considering. Given the fact that they really haven't done much. They've set up their bench, but they haven't started aggressing at all. 
They're really just waiting on that Gardevoir. They don't have a Hisui Heavy Ball, right? Okay. It'd be crazy if both of them are prized, right? What do they do if both of them are prized? They just lose, right? They're digging so far into their deck. Like, uh, that's actually insane. Arvin. Let's see if they get maybe... Okay. Ultra Ball. Okay, does that get the card of war after that many pulls? Wow, that's a... <laughs> That is a really long search. Down to 15. Okay, let's see. They're going to KO it. We're going to draw into, what, two more cards? Hopefully those are at least like an Earthen Vessel. I really don't want to get a Professor's Research because this is the last Flittle. And these are our only two energy left. Yeah, there's the four for the KO. Five. Why? Don't tell me they have a uh, mind catcher. <laughs> oh, come on. That is insane. How, how even? They have gotten so lucky this turn. I guess we have gotten pretty lucky too up to this point. But just losing this Lugia V star makes it so much worse for us right now. Oh man, okay. We got an Iono. Uh, we gotta use the Iono, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We at least get the Flittle now. Mew. I think we use the Ultra Ball to get rid of this and this. Let's get a Lugia back up. I should, oh, you know, I should have checked to see if we have our last vacuum. There's a boss, but we can't do anything. Okay. Just got to leave it at that. I hope they don't have their own boss available to gust up our Lugia. There's a counter catcher going away. I would assume they're running at least one boss. Especially since they have a Palpat in deck. That's actually good for us. We can maybe stall them out for a second or two. They have two energy here. And then they have five attached. If they commit too many energy to Pokemon, that way we can just deck them out somehow. That's a possibility. Fluttermain. We do need that Lost Vacuum. Conceal cards. I haven't played any supporters yet. Maybe they don't have it and they just have to take the KO here. Give us the four cards off the gift energy. Maybe. Super Rod. What are they putting back? The Fluttermane and an energy, okay. Why? I oh no. Oh, come on. I was hoping they didn't have a supporter at all. Uh okay. At least we got the East Pathra. Cool, just one card. Uh, let's put Mew up. We're not in a good position right now. 
I don't think we're winning this one. Uh, whoosh, I don't like want using the research here. Because that's a lot of special energy we're losing. Mm, yeah, I did not like doing that. Capturing Aroma. Maybe the... Okay. Okay, well, we don't get the Archaeops. We can get the Archaeops this way. Uh, let's see here. What do we do here? Do we even have the Lost Vacuum, or is it prized? It is prized. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Okay. Mm, we can do this, I think. Grab Archaeops, get rid of the Archaeops, at least for the Psychic Energy. Yeah, we can do this. Because we don't need any extra energy here. We just get the KO. Yeah, this is a really tough matchup. I can see why... I don't even think the inclusion of the Lost Vacuum really mattered here. I think it's just an auto loss regardless. You know what? I think, yeah. We got really lucky with the Golden Go EX. This Gardevoir just went like you would expect it to. The Golden Go would have been pretty much a loss too. It really depends on... Uh, if they're able to get their stuff out before we can. But even that lost vacuum, I don't think would have mattered. Do they have super rod still? They've used one. No, no, friend, they're running a second. But I'm assuming they also have more drift loons. Art is on. Yeah, they're going to grab a drift loon this way. Oh, Scream Tail, okay. Yeah, it's 20 damage. Yeah, so this wouldn't affect, uh, be affected by Mist Energy. Because it's damage and not counters. They gotta put two onto here. And then they're going to put, uh, what, as many as they want on here? It doesn't matter, really. Uh, they have more than enough in their discard. Yeah, seven energies. That's more than enough. It's going to take too long, so I'm just going to concede. Mm, I don't know how I felt about that matchup. I'm seeing why uh, she mentioned that Gardevoir is kind of an auto loss. And I'm starting to miss the... Zatu version. <laughs> but to be fair, I don't think I've played enough of the uh, Zatu uh, Esperantha EX version against Gardevoir. So it could be going the same way in that situation. Okay. I uh, was not paying attention there. Uh, they are going first. Uh, obviously, we're going to put up Lugia, not the Luminion B. Uh, we don't want it to turn out like that Gardevoir matchup. Oh. Well, I think we're going to be okay, actually. As long as we're able to get the Archaeops. At least one Archaeops, I think, would be suffice. Sufficient? Not suffice. Uh, we need to get rid of her, Luminion, immediately. Yeah, we need to get rid of this Luminion. Like, pronto. We're going to read the Windit, because we don't want to get... The Erica invitation used on Luminion B. Mmm, yes, that's a big no for me. Hopefully we get an Archaeops. Oh, no. Uh, we can get a Flittle, which is fine. That's fine by me. We're going to go ahead and attach, actually, the V-Guard onto it. Read the win. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the Luminion. Mm, I don't like having the Indindi either. Oh, that was... Okay, the Aerie's good. They do get rid of the Earth and Vessel and Ultra Ball. 
but as long as they didn't uh, use Erica's invitation, I'm fine with that. Okay, good. Probably a pass. That's fine. I'm gonna keep the Lugia V up. Hopefully hit heads. Nope, another tails. And I'm gonna put up another little. I'm not gonna evolve it just yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the DTE on it so it can attack next turn. So I'm gonna read the wind away the Indindi. Okay, that's good. We don't have any Evo Pokemon here. I'm mean, sorry, basic Pokemon here. Um, so if they try an Erica, it's a wasted supporter, which I'm hoping for. They still have that in hand. Yes. Oh, there it is. Good. Uh, I like when control decks just waste Erica's invitation like that. That is wonderful to see. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and capture an aroma. Okay, we're not going to grab anything. That is a big no from me. Uh, we're going to Great Ball. Uh, this Archeops here. I'm going to go ahead and evolve, actually, I think. I could read the wind one of these Archeops away. But I could also KO a Snorlax. Uh, but that also opens them up to counter catching. So no, I think I'm going to read the wind first. Hope we don't draw into whenever. Okay, good. We can Serena away the Archeops. Maybe evolve first, actually. Misfortune Sisters. Nothing. Wonderful. Right? <laughs> oh, I love it when they just waste supporters like that. Let's evolve this. Uh, I guess we can attach. Let's attach the mist here. We're going to Serena away that. And this. Uh, do we need the Iono? I think we just leave it like that. Okay. Capturing Aroma. Another Tells. I'm not going to grab any basic Pokemon right now. Also, hold on. Let me check. I do have the e other two East Math or EXs. And I do have three of my basic uh, Psychic Energies. I'm almost tempted not to grab both of these Archeops. But they do do 120 damage. But then we start splitting our energies around a little more than I'd like. I think I'm going to go for one. We can make do with just one of these. Let's put the mist energy on it. And let's just gonna start KOing here. I think this is the best way to handle this uh, match right now. I'm assuming they're gonna counter catcher uh, the Flittle. Or concede. Okay, I will take the concede. <laughs> uh, yeah, with control decks, you just gotta know uh, how to handle your own resources and make sure they can't uh, take advantage of it. Okay, so they're making us go first. This is a good start, though. We got Lugia, we got a Great Bowl, and a Capturing Aroma. This is a Dialga deck. Uh, let's Capturing Aroma first. Hopefully Flittle. That's uh, Heads, so let's go ahead and grab... We have our Beastar. Let's grab our Archeops. Okay, what am I doing? I'm trying to grab the Great Ball, not the... Ooh, wait, hold on. Do we have... We do have a Jet Energy. Oh, but I really want to set up the Flittle, though. Hmm. What do we set up, though? I, I almost want to say, instead of setting up the Indindi, we want to get this Flittle powered up and ready sooner than later. So let's go ahead and do that. Pass. 
Hmm. What do we grab next? Ultra Ball. Let's see how well they get set up. If I'm guessing correct, they're going to try and get TM Evolution off uh, this turn. They gotta, they gotta get an Arvin though. Super Rod. Interesting. Professor. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and two bosses orders. That kind of hurts me. Uh, to see. What are they? They uh, Super Rod. Just three energy back. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. Ah. Okay. At least they got the Dialga for them going. That's good. Uh, we get the Spanthra. I don't know if we put up the Lugia just yet. We could leave it as this and just read the wind, though. Hmm. Depends on how much more they set up here. With two Beldum up, maybe we do evolve into the Lugia V-Star. Hmm. UEX2. Okay, hold on. They're running out of the bench space. They usually want to have a third build them too. Let's see what they do though. Okay, searching for uh, a card. Shuffle it and put it into your. Uh, put it on the top of it. Okay. So I'm thinking. They're probably going to put up a Beldum. And we have a turn to hold off. Actually, mm, I think we can do this, actually. Well, let me get some more cards into my hand. Let's go ahead and use Serena. That way we can get rid of this Archaeops. Discard, yes. I'm almost tempted to get rid of this too to draw four instead. I think I will. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Yeah, let's put this up. We're going to Master Ball the other Archaeops and I think we get rid of Archaeops boss no I kind of want to keep boss but then we don't have any draw support right now do we need the draw support I think if we have the two Archaeops we're gonna be fine yeah let's do that uh let's keep the Spathra the other one in hand just leave it be like that. All right, summoning star. Got our two Archaeops, and we're gonna power up and KO the Speldum. I'm thinking at least one gift energy. Actually, maybe the V Guard too. That way, if they try and use um, Metal Maker, or if, I forget, Star Chronos, that's the one. Uh, we don't get KO'd by that. We could also just. Of, mm, what if they put up another Dialga? We can KO that too. Uh, yeah, I think so. We already put the gift on it, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's put mist and a jet onto it. That way we can still be doing the 220 and KO maybe another uh, Dialga that goes onto the field. Because usually you're going to want to have at least two at some point on there. Ooh, and we get a Professor's too. Okay, this one's going pretty well. But we can't get too carried away. It can be uh, essentially switch, turned up uh, around over us. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But get turned around fairly easy, especially after the Star Kronos. Okay, let's see. There's one other one going away. How many did they have? Just two there. Right, because they used a uh, super rod. One attached. If they don't evolve this, we 
we take it immediately. That seven and that fresh seven hand might have a V star. Let's see if they do have it or not. Because we have boss in hand that takes out the orange for Dialgo. Ooh, okay. Nothing. Oh, wow. This might be the ideal matchup right now. Just whiffing everything they need. There's another. Okay. But we KO the one with the energy attached. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely expecting a pass here. Uh, I'm glad that they weren't able to get up three Matang early on. We're going to evolve this Espathra, boss up this origin form, the Alga. And we're sitting pretty well after that. Okay, yeah, they're trying to mitigate the prizes we would have taken. But for us, it does not matter. Uh, let's go ahead and power up our East Pathras. Uh, let's put one GIF on one. Let's just burn this mist onto this one over here that's already powered up and ready to go. And then we'll start attaching to this one now. We'll put these up on it at least. Okay, uh, we're gonna boss up this one that has an energy attached i think we're uh we're probably favored to win right now i mean what can they do uh if they boss up our luminion or archaeops and you start chronos they could take out possibly three prize cards in uh, essentially two turns. That's something they could do. It really depends on if they get another Matang. There we go. And both of them hit a total of, I think, what is it? Five energy for the Star Chronos. Plus, they still need the uh, Dialga V-Star. But after they do that... It is a prime target for our East Path or EXs, like an easy target. Five energies onto a 280, that is an easy target. We still have, we would still at least have one Archaeops available to us. They, mm, okay. I, I would have evolved regardless if they have it. Prime Catcher, they might be trying to stall. Or if they do have the V-Star, they're going for, the, uh, they could even just go for the, what is it? The Temporal Rupture. I've legitimately never seen a Dialga use that attack. <laughs> All right, with this Iono, they have to get it, right? Yeah, they get this KO. I feel like we give him an Archaeops. It's probably our best choice. Does this resist grass? It does by 30. That's three. They need two more. And they haven't attached for turn. Ooh. Ooh, that. Unlucky. So that's three. That's not even KO. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is so unlucky. No, we have three. This is three. Uh, we need to be hitting. What is that? That goes into... We need to have... 10 total? Am I doing that? No, 9. Uh, no, we do have to have 10 because of the minus 30, though. We have to have 10 total on, on uh, East Math 3 EX. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Uh, we can get 4 here. Or, sorry, we have to have 10 total in general, right? We have 6, this is 10. The minus, uh, the subtraction there messes it up. So let's do this instead. So we're at the 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I don't want to, hmm. 
this would definitely be enough, but I want to make sure that I uh, I have two Earth and Vessel and I have two of the basic Psychic Energy. I just need the one. I probably should have not attached this one, but that's more than enough to KO the Origin Form Dialga. Okay. We Serena. I, I really don't like losing this boss. But in the position we're at, I think we want to get a full fresh five. Okay, Earth and Vessel. We get the one we need to attach for Luminion. I'm just going to grab two for next turn so we can power up the other East Path 3X. We should have more than enough to KO here. 320, yeah. I think uh, we added one more than necessary. Actually, no, we needed the extra DTE. Regardless, let's take this KO. Um, I think a lot of things went right for us in this game. And a lot of things went bad for them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, not hitting that second Metal Maker uh, was definitely what made them lose. I think if they had hit that Metal Maker, Again, they take this with Star Kronos, and then we have to give them an Archeops. They would be at five, so technically we'd still be able to KO them. Um, but at least they would have started taking at least half their prize cards. Uh, I guess they do KO us here too. Wow, that was extra loud on my mic. I, I or sorry, my headphones. I don't know what happened. What's going on with the audio right now? That was weird. Everything just decided to get extra loud today. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're conceding. Uh, we win this one. Let's go ahead and talk about this deck here at the final thoughts. So that was the Esperanza EX Lugia combination deck. It <laughs> was a lot of fun, uh, especially with the changes that uh, Eliza mentioned in her write-up on the deck. I think, uh, what was it? The addition of the second Earthen Vessel was really helpful. Mew EX, you know, came in handy here and there. We definitely didn't need that ditto at all. Actually, mm, no, I don't think it would have mattered even when we benched that Luminion. Um, Lost Vacuum, though, I don't know about this addition. I feel like there are other options that we could have used instead for when we wanted to deal with uh, bravery charms and stuff like that. I'm thinking maybe, oh, you know what would be helpful? Uh, it's not releasing until Twilight Masquerade releases, but I think it's called like Jamming Tower, where it prevents the effects of Pokemon tools. That would be essentially just a complete, uh, uh, you know, stop to any of those item cards that Gardevoir EX needs to use. I think every time a new set comes out as of recently, Gardevoir is just getting uh, pummeled into the ground with essentially getting countered easily. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it's a fun deck. I think you guys should definitely try it out. This combination, again, of Lugia, Esperanza EX, and Archeops was never on my radar and i'm glad that eliza and christian decided to make this deck for indie regionals and then eliza did really well with it and here i am making the video on this awesome deck um i will say though before i finish off the video i still think this should be for psychic energy uh just in case there was a matchup i had to cut out because in two turns, I would have lost every single Psychic Energy. Uh, either I lose the Psychic Energy, or I don't bench a Pokemon, and I lose the game. I guess I, I should have just lost the game at that point. When I lost the Psychic Energy, it was pretty much an auto-loss, only having to attack with Lugia V-Star. But, you know, still, I think this should be poor. Test this out, uh, make uh, adjustments based off what Eliza mentions, but also try other things out. You know, maybe you don't want to use a Lost Vacuum. Maybe you want to use Pokemon League HQ to handle some of those basic Pokemon matchups a bit better, uh, like the Zatu Esperanto EX deck that I have going, uh, where it uses both the Dazzling Gaze and the Pokemon League HQ to make 
basics require two extra energy. I, I do like that in sort of disruption. Two extra energy is a lot harder than just one. But yeah, this helps us out with the Gardevoirs. Maybe sometimes, not always, um, <laughs> as we saw in that loss. But still, even though we lost, uh, we just know then if we ever see a Gardevoir, just concede. <laughs> oh, before I forget, um, I'm not going to be making any videos next week, but Twilight Masquerade is coming out on Pokemon TCG Live, I believe, at the end of that week before LA Regionals. So I'm going to be uh, cooking up a lot of decks in the meantime, just looking at lists that have been doing pretty well in Japan and then just making things out myself. Um, but I'm looking forward to both Greninja, the Ogre Pond, and the Dragapult list. Those are going to be very interesting to see. And maybe even seeing how some new additions like Blood Moon Ursa Luna are placed into things like Lost Box. I haven't done a Lost Box video in a while. I feel like it's been pretty stagnant on how that deck is used. But let's see if maybe some of these newer cards can bring new life into these. Anyways, it's been fun. But as always, stay safe. And thanks for watching.